In Professor Balthazar's town, a strange man arrived every evening. He changed from his rather distinguished looking suit into working clothes. and then headed for the town's spaghetti factory where he was employed as night watchman. Alfred never allowed himself to be taken by surprise. Nevertheless, on several occasions, he found himself in the thick of it. Once, Wimpy the thief tried to break into the factory. But Alfred was alert as always. He turned the spaghetti-bound Wimpy over to the police. Another time, a competing spaghetti firm tried to dump a ton of chewing gum into the batter. But Alfred was ready with an unpleasant welcome. Then there was a cunning villain called Uncatchable Al, who, with his sidekick, decided to try an underground route. In the mornings, having completed his shift, Alfred returned to his city. And once again changed into his distinguished look. Here, in his own town, Alfred wasn't just an ordinary citizen. He happened to be the mayor. The people here were very poor. They didn't have enough money to afford a really capable mayor. Nevertheless, they had voted for and elected popular Alfred. Alfred was extremely proud and told everyone not to worry about his salary. He would find a solution. After all, he was the mayor. Of course, he could make people pay taxes. But that really would have been too cruel. And so he hit on the idea of taking the job as night watchman. And whenever he got his wages... <laughs> he smuggled the money into his city treasury so that he could be paid for his job as mayor.
Occasionally, the city treasurer wondered where the extra money was coming from. But Alfred always diverted his attention by joking. <laughs> Before long, however, trouble caught up with Alfred. In the mornings, he tried to sneak into town quietly. But... <laughs> Alfred's biggest problem was that the night work finally got to be too much for him. He simply could not stay awake. He made an unusually poor impression on the ladies of the social club. And on the members of the city council as well. Finally, he fell asleep on the job. As a result, production went haywire. And Alfred had to stand in a corner. Alfred needed help. So he went to his old friend, Professor Balthazar. The professor immediately knew what the difficulty was. He thought, and thought, and thought. And then... The little robot Alfie was born. Beside himself with joy, Alfred took him to work. Whenever he switched the robot on, he was able to take a little nap. That night, Alfie's alarm system went off. and an entire mob of gangsters was caught. For which Alfred was given a medal. Alfie had many other uses as well. He was unsurpassable at writing speeches. And his computer brain remembered countless jokes and gags. In the end, he even fixed Alfred's car. Well, maybe not quite, but it was a game try. <laughs> 